We'll go to question number 12. This is from Chael D. Wesson, who says, um, my professor brought up his question, this question, and I need to know your opinion. According to Hebrew scripture, anything not of God's perfect eschatological view is sin. For example, human excretion, so poo. So how can we say Jesus is sinless? Okay, I think I, I see what's happening with your professor is they're identifying, um, um, they're identifying uncleanness in the Old Testament as sin. And so anything that made Jesus unclean ceremonially would have made him sinful. So one of the things that makes people unclean ceremonially is bodily discharges of any kind. So like uh, even bleeding. So when Jesus was on the cross, when he was beaten, he was unclean. He was ceremonially unclean in those moments. Now you're going to say he was actually sinning. The problem here is that your professor has, um, I think your professor has dumbed down and oversimplified the Old Testament and the way that the, the, the Hebrews would look at these issues. They would see themselves as unclean, but not necessarily guilty of any sin. Guilt, there was guilt. It would have come in if you tried to enter the presence of God or, in, or, or do things you weren't supposed to do when you were unclean. But there you're violating a command. It's not that you've sinned before that point. It's that you violated a command not to do that because God has certain rules. Now, some of the cleanliness rules in the Old Testament seem like they're about actual godliness and holiness. Some of them seem like they're just about ceremonial issues. And as a Christian in particular, you can, you can well, I, even as a Jew, you can kind of push on this because Abraham wasn't observing all of these Old Testament ceremonial laws. He gave these to the people of Israel. When, when God judges other nations, he never judges them for the ceremonial stuff that he told Israel to do, implying those things aren't just sinful. They're a cleanliness thing about the setting apart of a nation, the symbolism of Christ, the, um, yeah, other things like that. So there's, what I'm saying is there's more complexity in the, in the Hebrew, in the Old Testament understanding of clean, clean and unclean. And to just equate any uncleanness with sin is just wrong. It's just wrong, right? A, a woman has her, her period. She has her customary impurity. She's, but she's not sinning. She hasn't done anything wrong. There's nothing immoral. She's not ashamed, right? This is, however, about sanitation and about symbolism and a lot of other important things. So I, th I think that um, your professor is missing those things. I'm curious what, I wish I knew what class that professor taught. Because it's often things like this a professor says and they're teaching like music class or something. <laughs> and you're like, what are you talking about that for? Um, other times you may have an actual Old Testament professor who's just treating the Old Testament like a buffoon. And I hope that's not happening. 